One thing I really hate is editing with a slow editing software. So here's the story behind my hate. I switched from an old MacBook Pro to an iMac about half a year ago and I was blown away by how fast everything like worked on the new iMac. Two weeks ago I noticed that things slowed down a lot. My last video which I posted yesterday about things you should know before you get the Sony a7 III was about seven minutes long and took two and a half hours to export. So it's a full HD seven minute clip which should be exported in 15 minutes at least. I searched through YouTube, Google and some other pages to find a solution for that, but I didn't find one. So on a Mac you can use the activity monitor to see how hard your computer is working. And I found out that my CPU is going crazy while rendering or exporting. A guy on YouTube talked about getting your CPU down by adding more RAM. So I bought some extra 16 GB RAM, installed it and BAM, nothing changed. Same shit again. No, God, please, no. So I was pissed. I spent two and a half thousand euros on this Mac and a half year later it wasn't working anymore. I really thought about sending it in or give it to someone who can fix this problem because it was so annoying. I asked a dude at work what he would do with this problem and he just told me to uninstall and install Premiere again and dude, this changed everything. So if you're familiar with the problem of slow rendering and exporting in Premiere Pro, here is how to fix it. So first, um, open Premiere Pro. Even the time the program needs to open just is so much faster than it was two days ago. So I'm opening a new project and here go into your effects and if you got any presets you would like to save, save them. Right click, go on export presets, name them how you want it. It's like preset one, boom. So it's on my desktop right now. You should do this when you are in between projects. So if there is nothing to lose, if you are working on a huge project at the moment, don't do this. You will lose your whole project. But if you're in between projects, do it. It's like the perfect way. So I close Premiere Pro, go on my um, Adobe Creative Cloud button over here, go on Premiere Pro CC and press uninstall. Yes, remove app preferences. Pium. So right now it's removing everything. Good. So it's now uninstalled. But here's the this, 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 this. but here's the am I done? But here's the thing. Go under Finder, um, Documents, Adobe, and here's an ordner which is called Premiere Pro. Delete that um, when I did this yesterday, I deleted almost 5,000 files, which I didn't know were in there. I'm, I use autosave and I always like delete my, my autosaves when a project is done, but there were 5,000 files in there and I didn't know where they came from. So delete that. And now go back on your Adobe Creative Cloud and reinstall your Premiere Pro CC again. And it's done. So open Premiere and you will see that it should open much faster than it opens before. So, as you can see, um, Premiere Pro is brand new right now. It shows you all the tutorials and that stuff, but yeah, you don't need it. How to make Premiere 
bro. Pause the game. So, from here on, it's pretty normal. Just open up uh, a new sequence. Doesn't matter, whatever. And to import your presets, go on the effect, presets, right click, and import presets. Select your preset number one, whatever. Doesn't matter how many you have. And now it's like a brand new Premiere. But wait, wait, there are a couple more things you could do to make your your editing process a little bit faster. First, go on Premiere, Preferences, General, under Memory, you can select how many um, RAM reserve for other applications. And I turned that down to, um, let's say, 6. So I got like 18 gigabytes of RAM only for Premiere and that's a solid amount. Another thing you can do is always switch to half the resolution for playback because most of the time you don't need the full resolution while like editing. So that's a good tip as well and if you go on this little plus right here choose the um, global effects mute drag that into your effect thing right here and press ok and what this little effect mute does is if you click on it it the the playback is without the color grade which makes it much easier to to like to play it back so i press change sequence settings so from now on it's a 4k clip and a 4k sequence and i use my 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 talking like preset and as you can see for rendering it takes like three minutes yesterday a two minute clip took like 30 minutes at least so i hope you liked this video i hope it was helpful all the camera gear I use is linked down in the description below, so check that out. And if you're into filmmaking, tutorials, camera gear or having fun, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.